In the latest crop progress report, corn conditions were downgraded slightly with 68% now considered to be in good to excellent condition, down from 70% the previous week. The poor to very poor category gained those two points, now a combined 12%. USDA reports dry weather returning to the southwestern Corn Belt following rainfall that had helped ease drought conditions and stressed crops. Nonetheless, growth stages remain above past progress benchmarks for this year's corn crop. Elsewhere, the winter wheat harvest is nearly complete at 97%. The spring wheat harvest is 60% of the way through, which is well ahead of schedule. Conditions of spring wheat in 2018 are vastly improved from a year ago at this time, with 74% rated in good to excellent condition and only a combined 5% in the poor to very poor category. In 2017, a whopping 42% was placed in the poor to very poor category. For continued updates on the 2018 growing season, subscribers should click on the news link in Comtel. Next up, Erna Berry Newswires has pre-report estimates for cattle on feed ahead of Friday's report. Here's account manager Laura Zinger with the details. The USDA's monthly cattle on feed report is scheduled for release on Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Analysts in Ernerberry Newswire's survey project that the number of cattle on feed as of August 1st will be up 4.4 percent from a year ago. Placements of cattle into the feed yards during the month of July are predicted on average to be up 5.5 percent, with estimates ranging from 0.6 percent to 9.8 percent over a year ago. Finally, marketings, or those sent to slaughter in July, are projected 4.9% above a year ago on average. July had one more weekday but one less Saturday than in 2017. For more on the Ernerberry Newswire survey, subscribers should click on the news link in Comtel. And be sure to check back on Friday for a full analysis of the official report. Thanks, Laura. That concludes our show for today. Thanks for watching and be sure to log into Comtel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. Today's video is sponsored by Episano's Market Insight for the Meat Industry, providing information, education, and insight for the beef, pork, and poultry industries. View a sample report at Episano.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your free sample today.